Hi there, in this video, I wanna share with you how people make money online using their skills, their knowledge, their experience, their education, even if they haven't got a marketing background, even if they've got no idea how to make money using websites, they're not marketers, they're not designers, any of that. I'm gonna show you the income opportunities available to you if you have zero business experience, you've got zero biz, uh, experience making money online, I'm gonna show you the opportunities that are out there for you to go out there and um, find for yourself. My name is Mike Killen. Usually I work with marketing agencies to help them increase their prices and sell more projects. But I've seen a slew of god awful advice on the internet. This has actually been spurred by a friend of mine who was a what I would call a technician. Uh, that meant that she was very good at her job. She was re really good at a particular skill. And for one reason or another, she, she lost her job. And she decided to start making money online. And she was immediately targeted by kind of fake business gurus uh, who sell courses on how to make money online. And it's insane. I mean, it's like, you know, $2,000, $3,000, this kind of stuff, these courses. And the advice is so generic that I wanted to share with you for free how these uh, how businesses make money online, how you can make money online with your skills, with your experience, uh, even if you've got no idea how to uh, start getting going online. I'm gonna take you through the basics. This is gonna be a video series where I'm gonna go through the absolute fundamentals of making money online coming from a technician background. <clears throat> Okay, so the first thing we're going to split up is actually understanding what a business is. And this is a business, right? You have sales and marketing. And I think this is the bit that most people get put off with and they get most afraid with because you then also have operations, uh, which is also known as uh, technicians. And most people, there we go. You'll have to get used to my spelling, by the way, throughout this. Uh, and then you have administration. Now, most people have got an idea of roughly what these entail, but education, the school system, um, your you know classic education, and probably the majority of your work has been focused on you building up skills in this particular area, in the technician area. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's good. You need to have a skill set to bring to the market. That's why this video is how people make money online today with their skills, with their experience, their education, and all of that. Admin inside a business is stuff like uh, taxes, running the business, company's house, if you're based in the UK, you know, HMRC, it's all this stuff. It's stuff that you have to have within the business. It's like a necessary evil uh, in order to run a business. So that's things like measuring your income, invoices, all this kind of stuff. So if you think of this part as delivering the work, actually delivering the job, this part is basically what enables the business to run in a lawful society. And sales and marketing, even if you have come from a sales and marketing background, chances are what you have actually done is increased your technicians or your operations ability. Even if you worked in sales, even if you worked in marketing, although there is some translation, the majority of what you are probably doing is actually delivering sales and marketing technical work for another business. Doing the sales and marketing work for your own business is very, very different. There are absolutely some overlaps. And if you've got zero marketing background, you've got zero sales background, that's not a problem. I'm going to show you still how to make money. The long and short is that money comes in via sales and marketing. The more sales and marketing you do, the increase in income you will generate from your business. That money then gets split between operations and administration. And it comes out here. And this gets passed to the customer because through them paying you through the sales and marketing route, and that's it. And we're going to talk about how, what that actually is. They are delivered through operations, your technical skill and expertise through a variety of different methods. And then a certain portion of this goes over to administration in order to help with things like uh, tax, staff, whatever. Um, but when you're starting out, when it's only you, you're going to do all three of these. But even if you are the world's best technician at making cakes, uh, setting up um, firework displays, writing books, graphic design, whatever, it doesn't matter what your technical skill is, you're gonna have to do some sales and marketing. However, 
That doesn't mean that you're going to become a salesperson necessarily, even though I obviously don't believe there's anything wrong with that. So that is basically how a business works. And what I want to show you is the different sales and marketing strategies that you can use or that anyone uses online in order to deliver more results to your customers. Let me know in the comments down below if this already, the business triangle as I call this, let me know in the comments down below if this is already helping out and making sense. So let's start looking at some of the methods that people use to make money online. So one of the reasons that I wanted to do this video and this series of videos is that the advice that I see in a lot of the paid courses is so generic and mainstream and unfocused and frankly watered down and diluted and very, very weak. It's stuff like make sure you find a passion, make sure that you uh, deliver high quality work, don't ever scam the customer. And all of that is so fucking obvious that it defies logic that anyone would even try to put a course together and say, yeah, this is worth three grand. Now, I absolutely sell courses for thousands of dollars. However, they are focused on a hyper-specific niche, a hyper-specific audience of people. We're gonna talk about that in another video, but what I wanted to do is just open up the multitude of ways that people make money online with their knowledge, skills, and expertise. It's almost a cliche that the world's best photographer doesn't make as much money as the photographer that goes out, even if they're mediocre and markets themselves appropriately. That's because they've opened themselves up to the world of different ways of making money out there. So what I'm going to do is go through the different methods of making money online, even if you have zero marketing and sales background that are free to set up. They're incredibly quick to set up. And this is how people are making money, including myself.